Well, hello, beloved. It's me, Coach Carmen, the Kingdom Health Purpose and Wealth Coach and founder of SharingTheBliss.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bliss Miss. <laughs> bliss Miss. Yes, 12 days of Bliss Miss. And I have so much to share with you in a short amount of time today. So we're going to get started. First of all, I want to just welcome all of you who are here, those of you who are live, and those of you who will be watching this recording. It is anointed now, and it will be anointed for you later, for sure. All right? So, great. Now, what is Bliss Miss? Well, first of all, I just want to share with you that when I talk about bliss, I am actually expressing joy. And we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? So um, truly, joy comes from our Lord and Savior. So when I talk about bliss, a lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually talking about joy, the fullest expression of joy. Amen. So that's what bliss is about. It's about the kingdom. It's about living in the kingdom because the reality is without the kingdom, you can only have a false sense of joy. But when you're in the kingdom and when you're activating the kingdom within you, then you can truly express bliss and you can have bliss expressed in your life. So sharing the bliss is about that. It's about the kingdom and activating the fullest expression of the kingdom in your life. Isn't that exciting? Yes. So don't get weird out when I talk about uh, bliss and, uh, and bliss miss, like I'm taking away uh, Chris, Christ from Christmas. No, I am truly focusing on our creator and our king of kings and lord of lords. So... There's so much that you're going to be privy to during these 12 days. I have myself and then I also have my coaches will be joining me on some of the days. Coach Denise and Coach Celeste will be here. Um, but I just wanted to start things off with myself because I wanted to just lay the foundation for you um, and tell you a little bit about my story because some of you may not really know and I don't talk about my story that much except if you come to one of my live events or if you are um, in one of my teleclasses or webinars or anything like that then you'll know my story but other than that you may not really know you just see me on Facebook um, putting out my posts about wellness you know that I'm totally into um, eating for life right the the food and the faith connection, which is what uh, we like to call it, the faith food or the food faith connection is the foundation of sharing the bliss as well as um, taking women of God on a joyful journey to holistic health, purpose, and wealth, I can say, and I also say an empowerment. I take them on this joyful journey because that's the journey that I had to go through to transform my life when I was in the lowest of lows when I was fighting for my life as a result of a life-threatening blood disease and financial issues and uh, marital issues, it was a hot mess. Yes, it was. And I had to allow God to take me through this journey. It wasn't joyful when I went through it. But believe me, when I came out of it, I was full of joy. So I had to deal with soul issues first. And that's what I do. I help women to deal with soul issues because I know that it starts in the soul, beloved. It really does. So once you can get your soul in check, then the rest is a little easier. So God just basically told me in order for you to heal, so I was like, help me, Lord. I need to heal my body. I know that I am I'm literally dying. I mean, the, the blood disease was sucking the life out of me. And I had to uh, just surrender and release. So I surrendered to God and I said, listen, Lord, help me heal my body. But I don't just want you to heal my body. I want you to transform my life. Because I knew even then that if I did not 
deal with my soul issues, then I would not really be able to live the quality of life or I would end up that I wanted to live or I would end up being sick again. So I asked him to just do whatever he had to do so that I can be totally transformed. And he, he took me through this life transformational journey that included dealing with soul issues. So I was always like a type A personality. And one of the things I had to do was, like I said, I had to release and let go. I had to let go and trust God. And in doing that, I let go of all my financial stress and everything. I, I just let it go. And I always laugh and I say, I'm not telling you to stop paying your bills. But if your life is in jeopardy and you're, you're fighting for your life, the first thing you have to do is focus on yourself let everything else go and I actually did <laughs> I let everything go and um, and I was led to forgive to surrender to to have peace with situations that I was not at peace about to love the unlovely all of this and while he was working in my heart and in my soul my mind will and emotions he said, okay, now we also, we got to deal with this internally on a cellular level as well. You're sick, yes. Your cells are sick. Your body is sick. So in order for you to get better, you're going to have to clean out your body. You're going to have to detox, not just your mind, not just your soul, but your body. I was like, oh, Lord. I mean, I knew it was going to come to that. But I, I, I actually, I think I was, by that time, I was ready. Because when I surrendered, I was totally ready. And I was willing to do whatever I had to do. So what I had to do was to stop eating everything I was eating. And I had to detox, which meant that I had to start eating. If I was going to eat, it was only going to be clean food. And for me at that time, I was led to eat organic vegan food, which, and not just organic vegan, but organic raw vegan. For two years, I ate organic raw vegan. And I mean, it wasn't anything fancy because my husband was preparing the food for me. I was too sick to even go into the kitchen. And it was just, but it was beautiful. He prepared the most beautiful salads and uh, fruit salads and green salads. And that's all I ate. Um, and, and water, uh, distilled water and um, what was the water? that we Alkaline, alkaline water. Yes, alkaline water that was given to me by a dear friend. And I was flushing my body, flushing, flushing, flushing. And as I was flushing my body, my body was going through like, a lot because I because I was born with eczema the blood disease really attacked my skin and it was sh it was showing up in my skin on my skin and I had like the worst eczema you could ever imagine I mean it was textbook I mean beyond textbook it was science it was like science fiction <laughs> it was it was crazy from head to toe, I really looked like a creature. I was so, so full of like just skin disruptions and like alligator skin and, and it kept changing. So it went from like your normal eczema to just boils and saw, sores and you know, this, the skin breaking open and wounds and it was horrible and it was so painful so painful. I couldn't even wear clothes. I had to wear um, just like silk pajamas and so nothing would stick to my skin and I had to put oil all over my body just so that um, my skin wouldn't stick to my clothes. And I dealt with this for two, that the worst part of it for like two and a half, one and a half years. But I trusted God. I trusted the process. I knew he was taking me through this journey of transformation. I knew I was going through what I call and what I coined the cocoon experience. It was a cocoon experience. I truly felt like I was in a cocoon. 
and I just wanted to get out of that cocoon. I can imagine how those caterpillars feel like they just want to break out and be beautiful butterflies. But it takes a process. And I trusted God. So while I was going through that process, every day I would look in the mirror and I would see little changes, little changes. Little by little, I started getting better. I started feeling better. Um, and, but it wasn't just physically feeling better. Emotionally, I was feeling better because God was doing a work. He was giving me scriptures to read, affirmations. As I was able to take those words, his scriptures, and turn them into affirmations, where I was not just quoting script, scripture. I was actually affirming my life through his words. And it was amazing, truly amazing. What was also so amazing is that, I mean, he took all of the aspects of my life, all the things that I did throughout my life, and he took all those broken pieces and put them together into a beautiful mosaic. And that mosaic became sharing the bliss. So he took my pain and turned it into power. And he took my purpose and he made, he made it prosperous. And that's why that's part of the Sharing the Bliss um, Foundation is that we help you to t turn your pain into power and your purpose into prosperity. Because I truly believe that our purpose is a result it, it, it reveals itself as a result of us going through that pain and going through it, whatever it takes, changing through it, growing through it, going through it. And then the gift of that is your purpose. Then you can do a Harriet Tugman. So we teach our women to do a Harriet Tugman, turn around and take others through what they've been through. That's what I did. I was able to do that. So I have no regrets. The cocoon experience was horrifying. It was bad. But I'm glad I surrendered and I went through it because in it, I became powerful. In it, I changed my thought processes and the way I ate. In it, I was able to find my purpose. God gifted me my purpose and taught me how to make it profitable. And that's why, you know, most people who have businesses, they're taught, you know, you focus on one thing. And I always felt kind of funny because my business is three parts. Sharing the Bliss is a three-part journey. It's not just business. It's not just helping people to change the way they, helping women of God to change the way they eat. We literally have something called the soul detox, then the physical detox, and then we help them fi to find their purpose and make it profitable through Package of Purpose. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? But this is what's even more exciting, beloved. We all, we all have that same thing. We all have that same gifting in us. We all have those same um, components waiting to be released active and activated. So many times we want to retreat we want to focus on the trauma and the drama. But the reality is that trauma and that drama is really part of your purpose in many, many ways. The fact that all of my immediate family members, a family of six, they're all gone except me. I'm the last surviving member of a family of six. Mm -hmm. My mom. I have a picture of her right here. That's my mommy. She was 40 when she died of heart failure. My dad was 52 when he died of, um, of cancer. And then my sister Darlene, this year would be 10 years. This month, this year will be 10 years that she passed away. My brother actually passed away at 38, um, my brother Nate. He had a, um, a rare lung disease 
And my sister Darlene, she passed, she just turned 60, and she passed of, um, basically it was medication, overly medicated as a result of anxiety. And my sister Pam, she was uh, 62, and she passed from complications with, she had diabetes and a doctor, doctor put her on, one of her doctors put her on Ambien because she couldn't sleep. And the Ambien actually uh, cost her her life. So that is part of my legacy, you know, that premature death, but I stopped it. And I said, no, this is, this may be my legacy, but it won't be my life. That's why it's so important, beloved, to just go on through your cocoon experience and let God do that work in you. There's so many things I can't wait to share with you these next uh, uh, few days, 11 days now, that each day I have something really awesome I'm going to be sharing with you that's going to help you to get through this, to get through whatever you're going through and to actually live the life that you were created to live. And that's the heiress life. We are heiresses. We are heiresses, beloved. Yes, we are. And we are able to do amazing things because we are supernatural. Yes, we are. We have so many gifts that God has given us. And we have the power to change things and rearrange things. I have a program and a book that I never got uh, published, but I've been doing this program for many, many years. Uh, it's called The Biblical Laws of Attraction. And so I understand about supernatural att attraction, the law of attraction. I call it the laws of attraction because God has created several laws of attraction. He created the laws of attraction. It is not some new age thing. So once you understand his laws, you can attract what you want because he's given it to us already. It's already ours in, 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 in the heavenly realm. But if you're not in alignment with it, if you're not in vibrational frequency with it, you will never attract it. It will separate, stay away from you. So it's important to know how to vibrate with the gift and the giver. The gift is what you're believing for. The giver is God. And so the other piece to close out my, my story, I added some other things in there, but just to close it out. Talk about miracles upon miracles and wonders never ceasing. All that debt that I had accumulated, including um, my our store. I had a bath and body shop and day spa on Staten Island at the time. Beautiful place. I had to close. <laughs> I had to close it when I got sick. Um, really, it was amazing because I was teaching wellness. I was actually taking women through, you know, all of this this beauty and the, the facials and massages and and all of my beautiful products. And I was really. I ended up being so sick. Um, I had to cl close my business, but financially we were in a lot of debt and um, I had to shut it all down. But when I got out of that cocoon experience, all of my debt was canceled. Supernatural debt cancellation, like nobody's business and a debt free home, a debt free home gifted to us. So many miracles, beloved, so many miracles. I believe in miracles. We, we live in a time where you better believe in miracles. You better believe in what's in you, the greater one that's in you, more so than that one that's in the world. Because we don't have to be subject to the world. We're in it, but we're not of it. 
We're in it, but we're not of it. Let's just say that right now. I'm in the world. I'm in the world, say that, but I'm not of the world. I'm not of the world. I don't have to be subject to the world. I don't have to be subject to the world. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Say it. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm living my bliss. That's right. You're living your bliss. Amen. Amen. Nothing is impossible with God and nothing is too wonderful to happen. If you believe in him and you stand on his word, nothing is too hard for God. That's what I want to lay this foundation with that understanding. I want you to be so, so determined not to allow what you see to control your situation, but to open your spiritual eyes to see the spirit realm, to see the supernatural, to see what your natural eyes don't see, because your natural eyes are going to see a lot of mess, a lot of mayhem. I mean, when I started this teaching 11 years ago, Sharing the Bliss is 11 years old. When I started this thing, and I was teaching this, like a lot of people didn't really feel like they needed it. Um, because as bad as the world may have been back then, it was nothing compared to what's going on now. Um, but now people I like, they lean in, they lean in because I don't have to, you know, I tell my story and my story is like, okay, yeah. So, um, <laughs> a lot of people, at this point, they're like, oh, Coach Carmen, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? Four of my cousins died of, of, of COVID last, last year. You know what I mean? So the people are going through it. They're seeing the death that I, I've lived for so many years. Now, just about everybody has a horror story about someone that they love or people that they love who's no longer here. And the interesting thing is, the past two years, more people have passed away. I would say, um, even though so many people pass away, I have a, a, a dear friend, a girlfriend who passed away um, uh, the month, what was it last month? Um, I can't even keep up now, um, of, of October. October. She passed in October from COVID, and I had others, but mo the, the majority of people who passed away didn't pass away from COVID. And so many, I mean, I hear so many people talking about how many people they know, they love who passed away. So when I'm, I'm saying that to say that this, this experience, this, this tapping into bliss, people are leaning into it more because they have been going through more. They've been going through more. What have you been going through, my love? You know, it, it does take someone, hey, I didn't even see these. Hello. Hey, CC, Cynthia. Good morning, my love. Good, good afternoon, Gail, sweet Gail. Hey, Karen. Good to see you. Awesome. I have some others here. I have not been reading. I'm so sorry. I got so excited. Um, Odessa sending Good, oh, hugs. Oh, thank you. Odessa is sending hugs. Love you, sweetheart. Gail says, I'm in the world, but not of the world. That's right, Karen. I'm in the world, but not of the world. Amen. Amen. And this is the empowerment. This is the empowerment that we need right now. Right? We need this empowerment. We need to know that how many of you are Psalm 91 women? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm ready to bust it out right now. I'm telling you. How many, you, should we? Should we? Am I, I'm kind of feeling this. Should we? All right, so. <laughs> so Cynthia said, thank you for sharing your legacy and being transparent. You're so welcome, my love. 
my Cynthia love her Psalm 91 that's right he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High I like to say because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High I abide under the shadow of the Almighty I say unto the Lord Lord you are my refuge you are my fortress you are the God in whom I trust Surely you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the prevalent pestilence. You will cover me with your feathers and under your wings I will take refuge. Your truth will be my shield and my buckler. And I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that fly by day, nor of the pestilence that walk in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays wait at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come nigh me. For with my eyes I will look up and see the reward of the wicked. Because I made the Lord who is my refuge, my dwelling place. Yes. Yes. And you know the rest of it. Tomorrow we'll finish it. But because I am short on time, you know, but one thing I would say, though, you should be able to quote Psalm 91. I want you to be able to quote before this or by the time these 12 days are over. I want you to quote, the, quote Psalm 91 with me and to know it by heart. Because the last the, the, the last verse of Psalms 91 is one that we all should be repeating over and over and over and over again. And that is, with long life shall you satisfy me, Father, and show me your salvation. That is so important for me. I have to say that every day because the enemy will try to make me believe that all my other family members are gone. Of course you're going to die prematurely. Of course you ain't going to make it out to sick out of the 60s. <laughs> Nobody else did what makes you so special. And I say the devil is a liar. I say Psalms 91, last verse, long life shall you satisfy me. Long life shall God satisfy. And I say, God, remember, remember you said, long life shall you satisfy me and show me your salvation. Amen. Yes. Psalm 91. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Gail says, as long as I know I've known you, didn't know what happened to you and the beautiful store you had, you are a true inspiration. Oh, Gail, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I am so, I'm so excited. I'm so passionate. I cannot wait to share with you. Tomorrow, we're going to go into divine design, living the life you really, really want. We're going to go into this. We have um, the rest of my stuff. Um, I don't have all my other books with me for some reason. They're not around here. But we have, like, every day, we're going to be going through um, one of these teachings. And they're actually teachings from my amazing signature program called Healed Whole Body and Soul Total Life Transformational Program for Women of God. It's a six month or 12 month program. You can actually do it for six months or 12 months. Uh oh, I just froze. <laughs> I just froze. Um, you can actually go through the six month program or, or just continue all the way through 12 months because it's uh, 12 months of amazing uh, trainings and the first training is divine design which we do in January and that includes creating a vision board creating oh my gosh it's just it's chock full uh, of setting you up and getting you ready for an amazing year in fact the first week is living as in the heiress that you are and then the second week we go into creating your bliss list and creating your screenplay so we should all have a screenplay of our future. Even if it's just one day in our future, that's amazing. It's so important that you hold on to your future, beloved, because the enemy is trying to steal it from us. 
He's trying to, you know, put all this gloom and doom in our eyes and in our, in our ears so that we don't have the energy or the motivation or the belief to move forward and live our purpose-driven dream life. But again, I say the devil is a liar. So we write out our screenplay and then we create our vision board. And we're doing that in January, the Healed Whole Body and Soul Program. Um, Healed and whole, healed whole by this old total life transformational program. But tomorrow I'm going to go into some of this with you. Divine design, creating the life you really want. So what time is it? Oh, I'm doing really good. It's only five after one. So does anyone have any questions? I would love to answer any questions. Such an amazing testimony. Continued blessings. Thank you so much, sis. Sister Karen, I really appreciate that. If you have any questions, leave your questions. Straight inspiration. Hey, Vera. <laughs> How you doing, sis? Coach Vera's in the house. Coach Vera's in the house. Yes. So if you have any questions, leave them in the chat, and I will definitely answer them for you. But what we're going to be doing, too, in this, um, in, um, during this time is I'm going to be picking a winner for a gift. And I'm going to basically close my eyes and scroll up and scroll down and scroll up and then scroll down and then click. Who was that? Gail. <laughs> Gail. Gail won. All right, so I'm going to be mailing you a gift, Gail. I, I think what I was going to do, I was going to do today one of my teas. So I have, um, so you let me know which one of the teas you want, one, one of the healing infusions. So you'll get the healing infusion tea. This one is nerve tonic, <laughs> which is great. The nerve tonics. Uh, Coach Cece knows about my teas. She is an advocate of um, is sharing the Bliss uh, wellness products. So, yes. So, do me a favor, beloved. Share this video. Share, 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 share. And invite others to come back tomorrow. All right? Because um, the divine design teaching is going to be great. I'll be able to spend most of my time on that because I've already told my story. So, that's what we'll be focusing on. Any questions, and even if you have any personal questions, anything you may be going through or whatever, um, leave your questions to, I would love to, you know what you could do, you can message me your questions so that I can have them in advance, and I can write them out, and I can answer them, all right? And if you wanna be anonymous, that's cool too, all right? Okay, well listen, thank you for joining me for this amazing i'm saying amazing because i know that god is in this so it's amazing it's not about me it's, it's about the greater one in me this um blissmas for 12 days we're going to go through it and it's going to be amazing all right so god bless you all ladies love you see you tomorrow 12 30 eastern